We are really pleased to be joined now by IndyCar star Pato O'Ward of the Arrows McLaren SP, second in the points heading into the first ever race in Nashville. It is the Music City Grand Prix. It is going to be a big weekend. Pato, I understand you just took a track walk. Nobody has seen this course before because it never existed before. What is your initial take on Nashville and what the race is going to be like? What's up, man? Uh, first of all, pumped to be here in Nashville. Uh, man, what a cool event it's going to be. Uh, like you said, we, we did the track walk just now, and it, and it looks like a very kind of like Long Beach mixed with Detroit kind of track. Uh, it has very long, fast straightaways. Uh, it's got very tight sections. And when, I'm, when I mean tight, it's like Detroit last sector tight. Like very, very wow. narrow. One lane, one car, that's it. Um, it's going to be really cool, man. I mean, there looks like there's some some places to pass for sure. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting to see how the racing is. Um, but we're ready, man. We're, we're ready to take on the challenge. It's going to be a challenge for, for all the drivers, for all the teams. And uh, we'll see who unloads the best. Yeah, one of the things I looked at the track map that I thought was unique a little bit, I don't want to say scary for me. I'm just watching it. You're driving it. And I know the bridge, you guys go over a bridge, the, the Korean American Veterans War Bridge twice, once in one direction, kind of do a couple turns and come back. That bridge is not flat. Anybody that's been over it knows that. What's that bridge going to be like at what, a 175 or whatever miles an hour? Yeah, so it's actually like, I mean, it's a bridge, right? So it's not going to be all flat, but it's it's got a, a pretty decent incline whenever you're going up for the first time. And then it's got like a, a, a pretty steep down, but it's very bumpy downhill. Uh, you're not yet to like the braking zone. So I feel like that's kind of be probably going to be your limit to bottoming, uh, depending on, you know, we're going to have to experiment with lines because in some, in some parts it might be less bumpy. Some other parts it might be more bumpy, but you're going to be doing more radius or, uh, just a longer a track line if you do one way or the other. So, man, I think tomorrow is going to be a big teller to really see where, where we all stack up and, and where we should just kind of go our way, you know? Well, you're going your own way in the way the car looks as well because not only is it a new race, it's a new look for you. you got the Views Design Challenge, basically letting fans design uh, they call it a livery overseas. I call it a paint scheme, even though I know that it's not paint. We're showing the car. Uh, did you get? Let's just between us. Don't tell anybody. Uh, did you get a? Did you get a, a a part in picking the design that you wanted? So uh, honestly, all this originated from from views. Uh, they're they're they have a huge market here in Nashville. Um, they're big fans of art, and I feel like. You know, we're we're kind of taking we're taking our canvases to the racetrack. Uh, Felix's car is is blue and papaya. Mine's uh, matte black and papaya. Um, but man, they're actually uh, they're based off of the World War One planes that used to go to war. Uh, Jack is is the fan that designed this, and he did a great job on it. Um, I think they look they look aggressive especially when you see them rolling uh when you when you see them you know standing still they're obviously going to look different than when they're whenever they're actually driving around but uh, i think they look really cool and let's talk about the rest of the year don't want to get ahead of it pato you are second in points uh, i think two wins six top fives it's been a great season like you said you got tight track here you got some you got long beach to end the year you got monterey which is always a challenge for everybody um what is your strategy going to be? And don't say go faster than the other guys, because we know that. But what is your strategy going to be for the rest of the year coming off about a month-long break? Win as much as we can, man. It's showtime. That's, all, that's the only thing we can do now. What has been so far your, your highlight? I know there's been a lot of highlights this year, and it's been awesome just to watch you come out, compete for every race, get a number of wins. Any highlight for the year that sticks out the most to you so far in 2021? And Detroit race two. Detroit race two was awesome. The, the, the fountain and just the way that we won that race uh, was just, 
was just a really, really cool feeling. I, I gotta, I gotta go with Detroit. I know Texas was my first ever win in IndyCar, but I gotta say Detroit takes the cake. It was a heck of a race, and I saw how bumpy that track was out at Belle Isle. But you know, having uh, seen the Texas race, I gotta say, I don't know how you guys do it because no matter how fast you think they're going on TV, it is faster. That is an unbelievable place. Two wins, second in points. Big weekend in Nashville coming up. Best of luck to you, Pato. Uh, best of luck to the Arrows McLaren SP team as well. Be safe, go fast, have fun, and we'll see you at the finish line. We'll do that. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.